Here we go. Good afternoon to you, Grade 7 Diamond. For today's video conference, we're going to talk about the basic concepts and application of simplicity and poverty. Okay? With you is your teacher, Jomar, and teacher Nyong Maligalig in Values Education. So let us proceed. In this video conference or in this lesson, we, have, we only have two objectives, lesson objectives. First is to define the virtue of simplicity. And second is identify ways on how to simplify life. So we will, uh, I will give you some tips on how to simplify our life in this video conference. Um, to start, they say that simplicity is beauty. Sir, how is simplicity beauty or beautiful? Bakit? Ay simple nga sir, di ba? Sir, nasan dun yung beauty, sir? So they say that simplicity is beauty, simplicity is beauty because Later on, I will be giving you the answer to that. Okay, so let's dive into our lesson. But before we begin, or before we proceed to the formal discussion, let's have first an activity. So the activity is this one. So I'll be choosing, uh, I'll be choosing two, a uh, one or two students from grade seven diamond two, and do this activity. So the activity is name one or two insecurities in your life. So kaya kailangan madin honest tayo dito, ha? Okay. I'm I'm going to uh, to use random name picker wheel to select the students who will answer this activity or who will do this activity. So um, as of now, the the wheel is is now spinning. I will tell you the name of the chosen one later on once this wheel is stopped. Yan umiikot na siya and it is getting slower at ang sasagot mauna ay si walang iba si uh, Mark and uh, sino nga ba ito? Si, ano, si Mark Christian Digal. Okay, nandito ba si Mark Christian Digal? Yes, nandito siya. Okay, please um, do this activity or should I say name one or two insecurities in your life if you can you can simply turn on your microphone to answer or you or type in your answer in our chat box we will wait for your answer mark sige easy lang muna daw si mark so medyo mahirap kasi talaga yan if you are thinking about your insecurities in life while waiting for mark christian to answer this activity let me share to you my insecurities in life ano nga ba yung insecurities yes as you all, um, as a, a matter of fact, I also have my own insecurities in life. And one insecurity this is, is um, when I see someone or when I saw someone um, um, speaking fluently in English, I easily, I envy that person or kumbaga, naa-amaze ako dun sa mga taong magagaling mag-English. Mag-English. Because that is one of my insecurity in life. Because I don't know, um, I, I don't know if I'm speaking fluently right now. I know uh, in the way I speak, in the way I deliver um, the language, in the English language, there are some grammatical error that I am. <laughs> well, um, just to give you an uh, trivia about my past. Um, past experiences i learned how to i learned how to use his and her nung grade 7 pa lang nung grade 7 na ako imagine simula di ba tinuturo na yung his and her starting grade 2 or grade 3 pero natutunan ko lang siyang gamitin nang tama nung grade 7 na si sir imagine so that's why i am very insecure to those students no um to students saka yung mga taong magagaling mag ano mag English talaga naka-inspire sila though I and at na, na iinggit ako na sana all na lang din talaga ano yan <clears throat> sir paano ka po nakapasa nung ano elementary hindi mo pa alam kung paano gamitin yung center simple lang by by means of listening or by means of comparing kumbaga kapag yung his magandang pakinggan dun sa sentence yun ang sasagot ko Kapag yung her ay hindi bagay dun sa sentence or, in, or maganda dun sa tunog ng sentence, yun yung ilalagay ko. And eventually, uh, unfortunately, tumatama naman yung sagot ni sir kahit hula-hula lang siya. Kaya nakapasa sa sir kahit hindi pa rin, kahit 
late na niya natutunan kung paano gamitin yung his and her. Okay? Yan, nagsagot na si Mark Christian Diga. So, sir, ang isang insecurity ko po ay mahina po ang pain tolerance ko. Kaya po lagi po akong nasasabihan ng duwag. Kasi mas matapang pa po ang, ang, ang pinsan ko na babae kaya sa akin. Well, actually, we, um, fear is a kind of emotion na na it is not a sign of pagiging duwag actually. I think fear also save us can save us from danger. You are just protecting yourself from harm. I can't see anything wrong with that when you say you are um kumbaga nasasabihan ka ng duwag kasi mahina yung pain tolerance mo. It just it only just mean uh, it only means that you are just protecting yourself to experience severe or uh, to experience severe pain from from such activity so okay lang din naman yun you're just protecting yourself and do not let um the words of others get into you kumaga wag kang magpapatalo doon isipin mo yung sarili mong kakayahan okay yan <clears throat> though yes we uh we all have our sincere insecurities in life and how is it related to simplicity sir well it is very re related because when we when when the time we accept our insecurities in life that is also the time we can live out the virtue of simplicity kasi hindi natin talaga pwedeng ma-live out si simplicity kung meron tayong mga insecurities sa ating kapaligiran sa bagay sa physical appearance natin sa mga achievements ng ibang tao ayan there's so many areas in sim about simplicity in life na kinakailangan nating i-accept at maunawaan at hindi dapat natin kainggitan. Okay? So, let's us uh, proceed. Yeah. What do we mean by simplicity anyway? Yeah, let's define first what is simplicity. There are three definitions for simplicity. First is simplicity is embracing the most essential in your life. So, it it, it means uh, kung ang kung ang mga essential ay pagkain at ang lugaw ay pagkain ibig sabihin essential ang lugaw well naisangat lang naman ni sir sa issue sa ngayon okay well anyway simplicity means embracing the most essential in your life o yung pinakamahalaga sa buhay mo well if you're going to look around you can you see the essential things in your life well if you are too focused on something maybe you have to let it go and and look for a wider wide view what the wide um wider perspective in your life to see what is the most essential in your life um to be just uh, to give you an example is when we look at our cell phone or when we use our cell phone so the, i have here my own cell phone yes this is an amazing invention of a human being uh, we can use this to send message to someone. We can use this to talk to someone. We can play games with this phone. We can um, gather information, uh, check out the news, and other stuffs, cool stuffs in uh, in using this phone. But the the fun fact here is the sad reality is sometimes when we connect to this phone, sometimes we disconnect to the rea to reality. So, kung masyado kang focus dito sa tinitingnan mo, so, ang, uh, kung masyado kang focus dito sa iyong cellphone, so, ang liit-liit lang yan, mga 8 inches or 7 inches, so, na, masyadong ma, uh, narrow yung iyong um, uh, range, yung view mo sa buhay. So, hindi mo napapansin yung mas mahalagang bagay kaysa sa pinagtutuunan mo. ba So, ang dami-dami mong binabasa, browse ka ng browse sa cellphone mo, Pero hindi mo nakikita yung andyan pala yung, andyan pala yung kaibigan mo, katabi mo, na dapat kausap mo. Andyan pala yung, yung mga magulang mo, katabi mo lang pala, na nandyan lagi para sa'yo kahit hindi mo pinapansin. At andyan din lagi yung mga kapatid mo na sumawasuporta sa'yo, pero hindi mo sila makita dahil masyado kang focus sa isang bagay na hindi naman ganun ka-importante. Okay? When it comes to simplicity, we have to embrace the most essential in your life and to do that we have to take on um we have to view things uh, sa, na sa mas malawak na paraan okay and that is 
how we live out the word and the virtue of simplicity. Another thing is it is about doing less, finding happiness in the simple things. Hanapin niyo yung mga kaligayahan niyo dun sa mga maliliit na bagay. And then in um, if you can do that, you can easily appreciate things that is happening in our life, even though the smallest, the smallest things or smallest events, smallest achievements, and yung mga konting mga uh, nangyayaring masaya sa ating buhay na appreciate natin. Isa yun sa pagiging simplicity. Well, um, um, just to share with you guys, back, way back 2000, 2000, 2000. 2006, uh, no. uh, yes, 2006, 2004, siguro grade 7 ako noon, okay? Uh, I know you are very familiar with Christmas party, right? Kapa, the, and we are asked to bring our own gifts for, ex, for, for the exchange gifts. But we have our own tradition for the exchange gift nung nasa grade 7 kami. Kumbaga, magdadala kami ng mga gifts namin, tapos ilalagay dun sa unahan, at ang gagawin, bubunot kami ng number. So kung number one yung napunot mo, ikaw yung unang pipili ng regalong gusto mo mula doon sa mga regalong nakahanay. Okay? Siguro nabunot ko yung mga 40 and something. So out of 60 students, hindi ako nagkakamali Wait, um, during that time. Yan. Uh, nung mga klase ko talaga, ang um, punteria nila lagi yung mga malalaking gifts because they believe if the because they believe the bigger the gift the bigger the reward or the big the the ano uh, mas mahal yung regalo kapag mas malaki at simply ako nakuha ko lang naman ay ano baso na may picture frame na ganun lang so simple lang din naman useful pa rin naman pero nakatuwa pero hindi naman ganun ka costly well, what happened next is um, when our classmate yung kahulihan ang nakuha niya yung pinakamaliit na regalo. Atawa ng tawa na niya mga klase, klase ko, including me, kasi nasa kanya yung pinakamaliit. But it turned out na yun pala yung pinakamahal. Because when he opened that small gift, it contains 1,000 peso bill. Diba? They, we asked, bakit may 1,000 pesos dyan? Diba? Ang sabi kasi nung nagregalo, hindi daw siya makabili ng... ng items wa, na pwede niyang balutin. Kaya nilagay na lang niya yung perang pang, pang bilhin niya ng regalo. Eh, medyo mayaman yung aming kaklasa nun. Kaya 1,000 yung kanyang nilagay. So, this is an example of finding happiness in the simple things. Hindi natin napapansin na yung, may, yung pinakamaliit na bagay pala, yun pala yung mas mahalaga at talaga nagpapasaya sa atin. Okay? Ang kinakailangan talaga nating mag, mag yung mas malawak na, na mas malawak na paningin sa ating kapaligiran para makita natin yung pinakamahalaga talaga. Okay, and next one is simplicity is a sign of a person's authenticity and truthfulness in words and actions. What do you mean by this? Well, according to Dr. Manuel D. Jr. from our previous lessons, um, there are three ingredients of man. We had the, the mind, the heart, and the body. And this is what it we meant when we talk about simplicity using the three ingredients of man. We have to synchronize those ingredients. Kinakailangan kung anong iniisip mo, yun dapat ang pinapakiramdaman mo, o laman ng puso mo, at yun din yung gagawin mong action. In other words, we have to combine the three elements or the three ingredients of man, the words and actions, into one. Kinakailangan mag-isa sila. In synchronize dapat. For us, to, full, to fully manifest and live out the virtue of simplicity. Okay? It's also about the, our... Simplicity is also about our wants and needs in life. Well, according to research, um, <clears throat> yung mga teenagers in, sa edad nyo, mas pinipili nila yung, uh, yung gusto nila kesa yung kailangan. Kasi hindi nila kasi pa nakikita, hindi pa nila na-experience yung totoong mundo na kanilang ginagalawan. They enjoy things according to their age, ano ba, Mobile Legends games, Facebook, BTS, Twice, um, gadgets, every uh, mga maliliit na bagay that can make us happy. Yan, kumbaga, months lang ng once pero hindi nila napapansin yung needs. 
Okay, kung so kung puro one star sa buhay natin, we cannot balance ourselves. And most importantly, we cannot see exactly the beauty in simplicity kapag puro ones yung ating pinipili. Okay? So kaya natin ang practice din natin yung mga pangailangan natin. Yung mas pinakamahalaga sa ating <clears throat> yung yung mas mahalaga sa paligid natin na hindi natin makita. So ayan. Um, ako, uh, comment muna kay Sky Para sa akin ma- maayos na po yung simpleng buhay lang po Yung gusto ko pong maging bahay simple lang Well, it's okay to be simple Wala namang, wala namang ano dun eh, walang kaso dun eh As long as you are happy in the sense of common good Well, it's okay to live that way Bakit? Meron namang may hirap na masaya, di ba? They are con- um, contento na sila kung anong mayroon sila Basta masaya sila Pero merong mayaman pero hindi sila masaya. So, anong problema nasan doon? Well, um, thank you, Sky, for sharing this. Okay lang yung simpleng buhay yan. Tama yan. Basta ang mahalaga ay, or, mahalagang, mah- mahalagang importante <laughs> na masaya kayo sa buhay na pinili niya. Okay? Yan. So, there are ways to simplify your life. So, these are, um, I'll be presenting to you the tips on how to simplify our life or how to manifest and live out the virtue of simplicity okay next first is make yourself more valuable and useful what do we mean by this people will notice how how will people notice us sir paano tayo ma-appreciate paano tayo may respeto ng tao na ng, ng tao na palibot sa atin well it's very simple but yeah but then again um it is easier said than done but you have to if you want to be noticed if you want to be appreciated, diba? um, discover your skills or discover your talents, then enhance your knowledge. Do research, read books, explore the world, and learn something new. Develop a new habits that will help you succeed. Yeah, and and that, with, with that, we people will notice you. Meron namang mga walang kwenta yung pinopost or mag, para magpaka, mag, magpasaya lang ng tao. Pero ang saya-saya, di ba? Kung baga, alit-alit lang nung, nung ginagawa niya. Pero nagpapasaya siya ng, isang, ng ibang tao. Pero sim, simple lang yun. Pero bakit uh, ang laki ng impact ng taong yon sa ibang tao? Pero kapag ibang tao yung gumawa, same din naman yung activity na ginagawa nila. Pero bakit magkaiba yung impact sa ibang tao? Okay. It is because um, they make themselves useful. They make themselves useful in the way of discovering their talents or sharing their talents. Yeah, and in that way, we can also be resp- for, um, responsible in our actions. Okay, that is the first step, uh, the first way. Make yourself more valuable and useful. Second is... <clears throat> is believe in yourself. How you define and see yourself in, will manifest in your actions. When we talk about believe in yourself, sometimes we are down and your friends will, told you, will tell you, uh, okay lang yan, kaya mo yan, sige, tiwala lang, matatapos mo rin yan, uh, mat, um, makata, matata, ma, ma, gagawa mo rin yan, gawa mo lang yan, andito lang kami para sa'yo. Pero kung Pero kung wala kang tiwala sa iyong sarili, you do not believe in your own actions. You do not believe in your own knowledge, in your own skills, in your own talent. So walang mangyayari. Okay? First thing is you have to believe in yourself that you can. You have to motivate yourself. Kung ang dami-daming mga positive words na binibigay sa ng ibang tao, they are uplifting your emotions. They support you or what uh, in um, in whatever you do in your life. Pero ikaw naman yung mismong nagre-reject. O ikaw naman yung mismong hindi tumatanggap or hindi mo mismo tinutulungan ng iyong sarili. So bali wala lang din yung suporta na ibinibigay ng ibang tao sa iyo. First and foremost, you have to believe that you can. You have to believe in yourself. Okay? Next one is connect your talents, skills, and abilities your, to your goals in life. So what do you mean by this? 
simply by allowing yourself to express truly what your heart desire will make you fulfill your happiness and goals. So you have to look for your goal. You have to look for your ultimate happiness in life. How do you do that, sir? Simply by making yourself valuable in discovering your talents, skills, through experience, or through knowledge. And then believe in the talent. Believe in your own capacity and capability. And then share your abilities, your talents to the world. And hopefully, someday, you will find your goal in life that will surely make you happy, that will lead to the ultimate goal of life, which is happiness. I believe in the saying from the movie, Three Idiots, that when you when and the saying, make your passion a profession. Because once you are happy, if you are happy doing something, that means you you are never get tired and um, you that means if you are a ha if you are happy that means you are at the right track of your career or of your life nasa dis na tama ang destination mo hindi ka maliligaw just focus on your talents um na uh, things for work that can make you happy okay you still have how many years left before you graduate to Pisay Calabarzon and be sure once you grad uh, after graduation, you already knew what is your goal and purpose in life. Para dire-direcho yung path mo sa iyong um, dreams and goals in life. And so another one is discover your goals and dreams. And how do we do that? By reflecting, write down your goals and dreams. You can also ask for your friends, your classmates, your parents. Yan, pwede, mo, pwede ka magpatulong sa kanila para ma, ma, malaman mo kung ano mo talaga yung gusto mo. Okay? Hindi naman pwede, hindi naman laging dapat saluhin mo yung pinag-iisipan. So, pwede rin namang humingi ng tulong sa ibang tao. And the last one will be, don't try to look rich and wealthy. Uh, um, it means, do not give, uh, you cannot give what you do not have. So, don't be so um, um, hard, uh, trying hard, yung mga social climber natin, yung mga mapagpanggap na hindi naman sila. Yan, huwag kayong ganun. Be, um, be simple. Kung ano yung kaya mong gawin, edi eh yun. Enhance mo na lang. Kung, kung ito lang yung talagang nagagawa, then embrace it and accept it. Don't try to look rich and wealth kung hindi naman talaga ikaw yun. So, kung hindi naman, kung hindi ka masaya sa ginagawa mo, so that means, hanap ka ng iba, ng gawain na magpapasaya sa'yo. Okay? Huwag mong pilitin talaga. Huwag mong pilitin, sabi nga ay, huwag mong pilitin kapag hindi ka na masaya. Okay? <clears throat> Next one is, uh, this, the spirit of poverty. Sir, how, how is simplicity related to poverty? Simplicity, pagiging simple lang, um, Yes, correct is kahit tama yun, the authentic. Uh, di ba naman na I just mentioned earlier na merong mga may, may hirap na masaya naman sila. Di naman kinakailangan na, na na sobrang yaman basta masaya sila. Well, in the spirit of poverty, this is how we really manage our resources or our wealth in life. Um, it, it is okay to to buy cheap items. Okay lang yun. Huwag mong ikakahiya na bumibili ka ng mga cheap items. Kasi, dip, nakadepende kasi yun sa pangailangan ng tao. So, kung ito lang yung kaya niyang bilhin, well, it's okay. As long as you can use, you are, you are maximizing the use of that item that you bought. Pero kung bili ka ng bili ng mga gamit, tapos itatambak mo lang yan, such as clothes, gadgets, instruments, and other things na hindi mo naman ginagamit pero binili mo. So, ibig sabihin nun, you are not, you do not have the spirit of poverty. So, kapag bibili ka, yun talagang kailangan mo lang talaga at sigurado magagamit mo. 
Okay? So thing, um, it means taking care of things so that they last and function for a long time. Okay lang din na bumili ng mahaling gamit. As long as you can afford it at kailangan mo yung gamit na yun. Okay lang din yun. There's nothing wrong in buying cheap, thing, cheap items and also expensive items. Freedom natin yan. We have the right to buy that we want but be sure to um, to think about the spirit of poverty. There's this saying na kapag daw bumili ka ng mga gamit na hindi mo naman ginagamit, that means you stole something from the poor. Hindi ba? And that, yung mga, okay lang din naman yung mga nagko-collect, mga collection, pero in my own understanding, in my own point of view, for, for me, kung, kung nagko-collection ka, so I think siguro dapat gamitin, gamitin mo rin ano, Kasi kapag namatay ka, hindi mo naman madadala yung mga collections mo eh. Pag, pagkukukuhain lang yun ng mga tao na naiwan mo kag gagamit nila. So, sayang lang. So, at least sana nagamit mo kahit some beses. Yan. So, we can choose what is useful, functional, attractive, and will serve our money's worth. That is what we meant by the... the uh, this is what we meant by the spirit of poverty. Pag nakaranas po ng hirap, dun po, dun po mas natututo sa buhay. Yes, exactly. Tama yun. Kaya nga yung ibang mga tao, or yung mga teenagers, or yung mga, um, yung mga kakagraduate, dun pa lang nila naranasan yung totoong buhay. At kapag at nagkatrabaho na, dun pa lang nila na, na lalaman kung gano'ng kahirap ang buhay. Kasi hindi, nung pagbata pa kasi, yeah, I've been through, I've been to your um, stage, naging teenager din naman ako, so hindi ko pa naranasan na kumita ng pera, or kung paano kumita ng pera. How, how, uh, how my parents um, um, create money, <laughs> o oh, uh, kung doon, doon pala nung nagtatrabaho na ako as a teacher, ang hirap pala kumita ng pera, tapos kapag dadating na yung face dip mo, yung sahod mo, Tapos isipin mo, kulang pa rin to. So, saan ka maghahanap para ma-fulfill yung gusto mo sa buhay? And kapag iniisip mo na yung saan ba dapat itong perang to, budget, para sa savings, para sa bills, dun mag start yung pagiging mature mo. Na dun mag start yung pagiging mature ng isang tao kapag alam mo na kung saan ka gamitin ng, yung pera ng tama. Okay? Yan, Darman video for San Juan's Resort. Ah, napanood ko to, yung nag, an, nag, sa waiter, basta maganda yan. Yan, watch the video, the, the Dharma, Dharman video, maganda yung mga. It's also Prince EA, mayroon din siya mga video. Anyway, let us proceed to the next slide because we only had two minutes left. Yan, so, to, um, I'll just, I just want you, I just want, uh, let, let us watch this video for... <laughs> Para matapos yung ating ano. And I hope you can learn something from this video.
Hello. No sound check, my guess. Okay. Well, that uh, that is the end of the short video. And to end our video conference this afternoon, let me say this to you guys as a part uh, as a parting words before this video conference end. There's nothing wrong in being rich and poor as long as we are happy living in this world in the sense of common good. So this is once again your teacher Jomar and I hope you learned something from our video conference saying keep safe, God bless, and goodbye grade 7 diamond. Thank you Paul. Thank you Paul sir. Thank you guys.